Lucky, you're a frill lizard. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough. My name's Sneath, and me mate over there's Keith. Good eh? I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Uh, right oh. I also take care of the bush rescue training program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. Righto, mate. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the right stick. Just push it left or right to spin the camera around. Then you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the directional buttons. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? You can change this through the options menu. They got that feature in already. I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. If you haven't worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of yours to jump. It's easy, really. Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess, the jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Before you had your ranks, mate, you had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep, and in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey, the snub-nosed shark from Strathpine. Here's how you can use them to bite things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it, we've got some crates right here. Why don't you have a go at biting them? Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Boona. Righto. The beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Did you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? That's right. You can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. All you have to do is press the jump button. And when you're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the Gliding Goose from Glen Iris. Well, looky here. Some water. Just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Steady on there, mate. Anyway, it's time. We'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. You can swim all right, mate. Time to learn how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the diving duck from Darwin. There are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines or even a ladder. Like this one here. Anyways, just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Marichidor. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a rings eye view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Careful, mate. There's a big drop just ahead. You know how we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, 
You can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you're running. Have a go on this fella here. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? Well done, mate. You've learnt just about every bush rescue trick in the book. I've got an interesting job for you, mate. Julius needs you at the Gunner Gunner training grounds to test his latest invention. G'day, son. Glad you can make it into me shop. I've got some butte boomerangs for sale today. Uh, choose carefully, though. We have a no-returns policy. <laughs> you won't regret buying that one, son. Bye, son. Hello, Ty. G'day, mate. Now, we have it on good authority that a spy is feeding information back to Cass, allowing him to cause trouble around town. Yes, to avoid detection, this bounder is using a disguisatron. Didn't you invent that, Julius? Yes, 
But that evil Cass has started producing cheap imitations in one of the many sweatshops in Cassapolis. You'll need the infrarang or X-rang in order to see through their disguise. When you're armed with the right ring, the spy should stand out like a sore thumb. Good luck, mate. Good day, Ty. Oh, look! Charlie Reese, born 423-2004. Ripper! Good work, mate. You caught the spy red-handed. We'll be taking this fellow in for questioning. Hopefully we'll get some inside info on what Cass has been up to. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, OK? Good choice, son. Bye, son. Hey, Bernie. What you doing? Nothing. You miss your mum, don't you? Sometimes. It's okay, mate. Your dad's worried sick about you. How about we get you home before it gets too late? Okay. I just got off the blower from Lake Borough Mudgee Refinery. They've got a load of unstable dynamite that needs disposal. And guess what? They want you to do it. <laughs> Yikes! Oh my goodness, you startled me! <laughs> Sorry, mate. Hey, you're Dennis's nephew, aren't you? 
Why, yes, I am. People call me Clarence. So, what are you doing all the way up here by yourself, Clary? I'm on a dare to enter the grounds of Gruesome Bottom Manor. The famous Baramaji Haunted Mansion. Haunted? You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Of course I do. Some of my best friends are ghosts. They're quite friendly, actually. But there's one ghost who's really mean and won't let me in. Tell you what, mate. I'll go and see if I can sort him out for you. Would you? Thanks a lot, Ty. Pretend poltergeist. He didn't stand a ghost of a chance against you. <laughs> Sorry. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? That's a ripper of a rang, son. Bye, son.
G'day, Ty. The Boromaji sewer workers have been complaining about crocs in the sewers. Now, I'd go down there and check it out myself, but I've, uh, got other pressing matters to take care of. Would you take care of it for me, mate? Sounds like a dirty job. Ah, but I'll give it a go. You little beauty. Filter down, little orange dinosaur. You're not one of them, are you? No, you're too small and fuzzy. Say, I've got some goo goo juice. Do you want some? Ah, uh, you don't look old enough. Tell you what, I do have something you might like. I found them while digging up some goo goo berries. You can have them. Great job of clearing the sewers of all those crocs, mate. Mate, there's a bunch of Hollywood types at Min Min Plains making a film. But it looks like Cass has sent a welcoming party to shake things up. When you get a chance, go get rid of Cass's hoons. Good day, Ken. What you doing? I'm helping out Julius, mate. Apparently that spy you caught wasn't working alone. Fair dinkum. That's right, mate. Looks like there's a whole mob of Kess's cronies with them Disguisertron thingamajigs. Struth! They could be anywhere, mate. Not just in town, but all over the southern rivers. I've got Burramudgee covered, but if you could check out all the outskirts, I'd appreciate it. No worries, mate. I'll see what I can do.
Hey, Ty, need a ride? Just press the action button when you want to get in. Thanks, Jess. 